How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Town of Salem. In this video we will be doing a review of all of our achievements, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Alrighty folks, this is like a little review we're going to be going through. Starting off with the general achievements, we have Initiation, win your first game, win 5 games, win 10 games, win 25, 50 and so on. Be acquitted by a tie vote, we had that pretty early on. Win with half of the rolls, we got this pretty recently. Win with all the Covenant Expansion Town rolls. We got this like two or three videos ago, I think. So very happy about this one. Have a game last till day 10. Kind of surprised this hasn't happened yet. Win with all Covenant Expansion rolls. We need to win as, I think, Pirates. Win with all Covenant Expansion Mafia rolls. Now escape to Classic. Need to win as Ambusher. Have not won as Ambusher yet. Win with all Covenant Expansion Coven rolls. We've won as Coven Leader, we've won as Poisoner, we've won as Hexmaster, and I think we just, we've won as Medusa as well. We just need to win as Necromancer and Potion Master, and I don't think we've had a Potion Master game yet. A win with all Coven Expansion neutral rolls. We just need to win as Pirate, and then I think we get this one, because we've won as Juggernaut. Now jumping into the Town rolls, there's a lot of Bodyguard ones we don't have yet. We actually haven't won a game as Bodyguard yet, which, hey, I guess it hasn't happened. 5 games, 10 games, 25. Have your bulletproof vest save you from death. Kill the godfather while protecting someone. These will be pretty easy. I would say the hardest one, probably killing the godfather. Because most games in Covenant or any, like, there's no guarantee of a godfather even being in there. Probably need to get this one from ranked practice or just ranked. Crusader achievements, we've won. One game is Cruise. Need to protect 5 people in a game, attack 5 people in a game. These are actually decently hard to get. Attack Pestilence, very niche scenario where something like that would happen. We've won our first game as a Doctor. Heal someone who was attacked, we haven't done it yet. Save three people in a game, haven't done that yet. Heal yourself after being attacked, haven't done that yet. Doctor, I think we've only gotten it one time in the whole run. Escort, we died from a serial killer. We've Roblox someone, we just need to Roblox ourselves and then we're fine and dandy. Pretty much need a Coven Leader or a Witch or a Transporter to do that for us. Investigator, same thing. We've won our first game as Invest. We've successfully investigated someone. We just need to investigate ourselves. Jailer, we pretty much have all the achievements. It's all about the wins now. We've died to the serial killer. We've executed three non-town members. We've executed a person. And that's pretty much it. Lookout, successfully watched someone at night. We haven't won our first game as a lookout yet. But looking for that one very soon. Have four or more people visit your target. This one just requires a bit of RNG, you need a bit of luck. You need to hope that there's a decent amount of people who decide to go on the Jailer on night one. You're more likely to get this in ranked, ranked practice rather than Coven or any. Mayor, we've revealed as day one, done the fearless achievement. We haven't won as a mayor yet. Win without revealing yourself as the mayor. And then faith in the town, be acquitted without revealing to the town. You pretty much have to hope that it's a vote for all game. You get voted up early, you claim something like Doctor, they say vote Innocent, you get Inode, and then you just get this achievement. Up next, we've got Medium. We've won our first game as a Medium, we've communicated with the Godfather, we've communicated with the Serial Killer, all we have to do is communicate with an Arsonist, and then we've got all the Medium achievements, and then it's just a matter of wins, which will just come naturally. Psychic. We've won our first game as a Psychic. Have six visions in a single game. Unfortunately, the last psychic game we had, which is on video, we just missed out by one day because the game just, it ended because someone left, which sucked. Blinded by Love, this is a pretty hard one to get. You need to be Roblox three times in a single game. You need to hope an escort or a consort does that. Chances are they're not gonna do it. The only time they would probably do something like that is if they think your psychic claim is Medusa and then they just keep Roblocking you. Retributionist, we've won our first game. Honestly, don't even remember which game this was. Resurrect the Sheriff to find someone sus, have to do that. Resurrect the Doctor to heal yourself, we gotta do that one. Resurrect a BG to defend from an attack. Need this one too. Sheriff, we haven't won a game yet as Sheriff yet. We have found someone as not suspicious. We found, we haven't found a member of the Mafia. Haven't found the serial killer yet. I think we've only played one Sheriff game where we just died night one. Spy game, we've won one game as a spy. We've seen a member of the Mafia targeting us. We've seen four or more Mafia visit people at night. We haven't seen someone get healed yet. 
And this will be pretty easy to get. All you have to do is bug the Jailer or bug a high priority target. Hopefully they get attacked. Hopefully they get healed. You get big eyes and then the rest of it will just come naturally. So tracker games, win game as a tracker. We've got that around the block. See your target visiting you. This happened at the end of the game where we got, <laughs> we watched our killer kill us. See your target visit two people on the same night. We just need to track a transporter or a disguiser for this to happen. Not too difficult. Track the same player three times. Now we did do this. In fact, we tracked the same person four times and we didn't get the achievement. So this might actually be possibly just be bugged. So who knows? It could, this could just be bugged. Transporter, win your first game as a transporter. Transport yourself with someone else. We did that in our very first transporter game. And then make someone attack themselves. Have not done that yet. Rest of it will come naturally. Trapper, we've won a game as a trapper. See Pestilence visit your target. Requires a bit of luck. Place three traps in a single game. Kind of need a decently long game because it takes one night to rebuild a trap. You know, you would probably need like a 10 day game for this. And then anti-magic trap, have the Coven Leader trigger your trap. This one will get like pretty soon. It's only a matter of time. Vampire Hunter, we rolled this roll actually pretty recently, but we didn't win with it. We ended up losing at the end. Stake a vampire. We didn't even get to do that because there was only one vampire in the game and they got lynched before we could even get to them. They got lynched on day two. Kill three vampires in a single game. Kill two vampires in one night. This is a pretty hard one to get. Veteran. We've won our first game as a vet. Win a game without killing any town members. We've done that. Win without going on alert. We've done that. We just need Massacre. Getting Massacre is not too hard. You can pretty much get it in Town Trader mode. Ask people to make the Veta side play. Go on alert. You'll probably kill more than three. Vigilante, we've won our first game. Shoot three non-town in a single game. I think we missed out on this because the Jailer jailed our last target in one of those games. We got... I, I think Ouch might be possibly bugged. You need a Coven Leader or a Transporter to do this. Shoot three people in one night who can't die. This is a pretty tough one to get as well. You're just going to keep shooting Immunes. So moving on to Mafia. Ambusher, we don't have shit. These are all relatively easy to get. Ambusher Doctor, Ambusher Werewolf, Ambusher Pestilence. This one requires a bit of game throwing. Blackmailer, we've blackmailed the same person three times. It gave him a really tough time. We just need to blackmail ourselves and blackmail a member of the Mafia. Need a Transporter or a Coven Leader to do that, or a Witch. Consig. I don't think we've played a single Consig game yet, so it's all just, it's not here. Find the Sheriff, find the GF, find a Veteran. Win your first game as a Consig. Consort. I don't think we've played a game as Consort yet. Die to Serial Killer, Roblox yourself, Roblox the GF. Disguiser. We've got all the achievements. Deceive the Town with a Disguise. Successfully disguise the same person three times in one game. And then just need the wins. Forger. Successfully forge a will. Win your first game as a forger. We just need to forge a will on ourselves, forge a will on an invest, and forge a will on a mafia member. Pretty straightforward. Framer. Our last video was a framer win. We just need to frame members of the mafia, frame ourselves. Godfather. We've won our first game as a GF. We've won the game without dying. Rest of it pretty straightforward. Hypnotist. We won our first game. We've hypnotized five people in a game. We just need to hypnotize a fellow Mafia, hypnotize ourselves. Pretty straightforward. Again, just need the Transporter or a Coven Leader to do it. We've won our first game as a Janitor. We won the game without cleaning any bodies. We just need someone to make us clean ourselves. Mafioso. We've won our first game as a Mafioso. We've been promoted to the Godfather. And we've won without dying or becoming the Godfather. So we got all that. We just need the wins. Moving on to the Neutrals. Amnesiac, we've won our first game as an Amni. We remember that we're a member of the Mafia. It was a pretty intense game. We had the choice to remember Survivor, but we went Mafia instead for the lols. Remember Amni, you can get this pretty easily. Remember Survivor, these are all pretty straightforward. You just need to wait for the opportunity. Arsonist, we won our first game as an Arso. We've ignited five or more people in a night. We just need to ignite ourselves and ignite a serial killer and GF in the same night. Pretty doable in rainbow mode. Executioner. We've won as Executioner. We got our target lynched on day two. That was the very first Executioner game. We just need Popular Target and Patience, Jackass Patience. These two are probably the hardest achievements, like, in the game. Some of the hardest, and it will take a while for us to get these. We've won a game as a Guardian Angel. Revitalize a very rare achievement, purging a poison and a douse from your target. That's a pretty hard one to get. Jester. 
We've won our first game as Jest. We've actually won five as Jest. We've haunted the serial killer. We just need to haunt a godfather and arsonist. Been looking for that one. Juggernaut. We've won one game as a Juggernaut. Gain all your powers as the Juggernaut by Night 5. We've got that. Unstoppable. One of the rarest achievements in the game. Attack a player in jail. This one. I, I guess you need a jailer in the late game. Need to smash someone in jail. And then kill the cover leader as the Jug. This one. You just need a cover leader to be in the game. You've got to find them. Pirate. I only got one game as Pirate and died night one, so we don't have shit. This one right here, lose 10 jewels in a game, one of the rarest achievements. Very, very difficult. Plague Bearer. We've won one game as a Plague Bearer. We've become Pestilence, Horseman of the Apocalypse. We've been in a game where Pestilence is attacked by a fully powered Juggernaut, so we've got that. This is a pretty difficult achievement to get. Have all players infected on day five. Honestly, I feel like we should have gotten this achievement, and for some reason we didn't get it. Because I'm pretty sure in our last Plague Bearer video, we did infect everyone by day 5. So I don't know about that. Or maybe I'm misremembering. Unholy Strike. This is a very, very difficult achievement. Attacking 5 in a single night. Pretty insane. Invincible. Have a Jailer try to execute you. This one we almost had. Because there was a Jailer in the late game of this video. But uh, it just didn't happen. We didn't get jailed. Serial Killer. We've won our first game as a Serial Killer. Kill the Jailer who jailed you. We've done that. Kill five or more people in a game. Got that one as well. We just need Psychopathic Pact, where we need to win a game with another surviving serial killer. And rest of it is just wins. We've played a survivor before. We have the Not Afraid achievement, where we just never vested and survived till the end. We have the Kevlar achievement, where we had our bulletproof vest save us from death. We just need to win with a serial killer. Vampire. We've converted someone to be a vampire. Haven't won yet. We still need to convert three people to vampires in a game, and we need to win without having any vampires die. Werewolf. We've won our first game as a werewolf. We've killed the jailer who jailed us. We just need to attack five people in one night. Very difficult achievement to get. And then this one's even more difficult. Killer GF, an arsonist, and a serial killer all in the same night. Very, very hard to get. Requires a lot of luck. More likely to get it in rainbow mode than anything else. Witch. I don't think we've played a game as Witch yet, so we've got nothing here. Make a Vigilante shoot another town member. Can't wait to get this one. Force two town members to die to veteran in a game. This would be a cool one to get. And then control a serial killer five times in a game. Pretty damn cool. Need to get these in all any mode, probably. And then, last but not least, we've got the Coven. We've won our first game as a Coven leader. We've controlled a player into the Medusa's gaze. We just need to control a player into the Pestilence and control a Jailer to execute his Jaylee. Hexmaster. We've won one game as Hex. We still need to kill five people as the Hex. We need to Hex a fellow Coven member with the help of a Transporter. And we need to Hex the Pestilence. This one's actually not game throwing because the Hexmaster has Astral Visits. Now, we've won one game as a Medusa. We've turned three players into stone in a single night. We've turned a revealed mayor to stone. We just need the rest of these achievements, so Medusa's basically finished. Necromancer, I don't think we've played a game yet, so none of these. We don't have any of these. Poisoner, we've won one game as a poisoner. We've poisoned five people in the game. We just need to have a jailed person die to our poison, and we need to have a veteran on alert die to our poison as well. Very luck reliant achievements to get. Potion Master, I don't think we've played a game yet, so we got nothing here. And that is essentially it. Those are all the achievements that we have on this account. That is like a little progress report. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you guys in the next video.